Hey guys, how you doing? I'm just gonna do a, a quick bike check on this Mongoose Tidal Elite Pro 24 inch frame. Um, this, this bike came out really, really nice. Black, white, and silver scheme I did on this uh, bike. Uh, let me just jump right into it and uh, I'll start with the rear. Let me use this little flashlight so you can help me out here, focus a little bit better. So in the back I have the Tioga Power Block. 175s on the valve covers I have of course the box valve covers in black these wheels I bought from BRG store online these are the excess wheels uh, the new ones that came out they're the X light comp so you'll see it's an X, uh, XLC Pro Hub in the back I mean this thing's killer man really nice set of wheels they all come complete just on the front uh comes 10 millimeters so you'd have to buy the optional um 20 millimeter upgrade all right so let me just jump right into it so we have the uh, box two chain tensioners Let's see in there the uh, profile volcano silver washers and here you have a Shimano. I went with an 18 tooth Shimano real cog. Really nice setup. And of course the uh, half link conspiracy uh, chain. I love this chain, man. It, it's it's really sharp looking. See the decals, Pro 24 Elite tile frame. This, this thing is, now they came out with a new orange one. I mean, the orange looks nice. Really nice, but I just like the, the black and the orange. Uh, let me start from the top here. There's the box one. Brakes, black shoes. I love these, these brakes are, are great because it gives you, look, look at all that adjustment that it gives you there. Uh, I was gonna go with the DXR uh, Shimano brakes, but they don't just, they don't give you the, 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 uh, the amount of, you know, adjustment that this does. I mean, if you have a shorter wheel blades, a longer one, or if you have enough space on your wheels. Uh, I, I think these brakes are killer, man. Uh, just my personal opinion, that's all. Box one C-clamp. s &M silver seat post. Tioga white seat. The spider white seat, this seat's killer, man. All right, let me uh, keep on going down here. This frame is a 21.75. Top two, and then of course, the best of the best Shimano DXR cranks 175, 24 inch, 24 millimeter spindle. And I got a white powder coated tangent 40 tooth front spot sprocket, and then a tangent uh, BB86 press on uh, bottom bracket. Then we have here, let me see, show you here the Shimano DX pedals. I love these pedals, man. These things, these things are. I mean, these pedals are great. Then, of course, I have my uh, crank protectors on there on the end, like I do on all my bikes. I'm gonna keep on moving forward here. And this is Idle Elite. I mean, this frame came out awesome, man. They 661 aluminum. They really did. A really nice uh, job on this frame, and let me tell you, it's solid, it rides really, really nice. All right, and the uh, forks, I have the X5 Box 1 carbon fiber forks. But these forks are beautiful, man. And that 20 millimeter front hub. Same thing with these, the front wheel on this is really, really nice and sharp, man. Access box valve cover. See the size of that front hub. All you gotta do is just uh, pop out the bearings and just slide in the new uh, 20 millimeter shaft and press my bearings back on. It's simple. If you go online to the store, they should have a video up how to do it. All right, over here we have the Box One carbon fiber headset, Box One stem, Box One uh, 
And I just had a uh, box one um, stem lock, carbon fiber spacers, box one uh, handlebars. These handlebars, I, I believe they're 6.5. Box one brake lever. These brakes are killer, man. These are the ODI grips. These grips, are, I mean, I usually buy the Van Edition, but these grips are killer, man. And then, of course, I have the uh, Box 1 and locks on. Let me see if, if I can see them on there. Or not. Did I really did. I mean, these grips are killer, man. You can probably see it better there. Box 1 chrome brake cable. Just go around here to the other side. And what I did here is I put a little clear uh, tape so when you do spin the bar, you eventually don't eat away at the frame, you know what I mean? So I did that. I did a, a BB86 uh, red bottom bracket. These cranks, man, are just killer. It's a killer setup on this bike. Alright guys, well anyway, I just want to just show you this uh, this quick build that I did on this bike. I mean I just I think this this bike came on. Then you have of course the inner brake cable that comes inside here to the frame. This Brett bike came out killer man. Um, it's probably one of my nicest uh, bikes I have. The next build I'm gonna be uh, doing it's gonna be a, a supercross chrome Motley frame the uh, the uh, supercross bolt. That's gonna be it's gonna be a 20 inch. It's gonna be my next stop uh, bike uh, that I build. It's probably gonna be the last one uh, for now. Anyway, I'm gonna kind of touch up on my mountain bikes. Anyway, man, I hope you guys like it. Please comment, like, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. This is normally an RC channel, but I, I you know, I have uh, I have to throw my BMX bikes in there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care.